guys, it's Anna here. So today I wanted to show you my morning skincare routine and this is a type of video I really enjoy watching on other ladies channels just to see what products and skincare concerns other ladies out there have and sometimes it gives me ideas for products that I want to try for my own skin. So before I launch into the things that I'm currently using, just a bit of background. So my skin is combination skin and especially during summer, I have quite an oily T-zone. And other than that, my skin is normal, but um, yeah, I, I get quite oily down the center of my face. So when selecting products, that's something that I definitely need to take into account. The other thing that I'm really aware of is having SPF in certain products. So living in Australia especially, sun care protection is just something that we do need to be very mindful of. And the last thing that I consider when I'm looking at my skincare is anti-aging. So being in my late 30s, anti-aging uh, products are important to me. So um, they're the sorts of things that I think about. So without further ado, let me launch into the types of things that I'm currently using. So the first step in my skincare routine is cleansing and I prefer to use a facial wash. So currently I've been using this simple, it's called Kind to Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. It's 100% soap free and it also has provitamins B5 and vitamin E. So it is what it says, it is a simple cleanser. It foams up, which is something that I really like. And also because it is moisturizing, it doesn't strip your skin and leave it feeling all itchy or, I don't know, itchy or tight. So this is, um, I think this is something like the eighth or ninth tube that I've purchased and I'll continue to buy this. I'm really enjoying it. So if I'm not using the simple cleanser, the other one that I might reach for is the Bioderma cleansing water. <clears throat> so I realize that this product has achieved cult status over the internet, but I do believe there's a reason for that. And for me personally, this works really well. And I do prefer to use this more at night time though to take off my makeup. And how I use it is just on a cotton pad. So, you know, I soak it in this cleansing water, take off my makeup, and then I go in for a second time with a fresh cotton pad and cleanse my skin. And after I've done that, I just give my face a bit of a splash with some water. So if I've run out of my simple, or if I'm just, you know, in a hurry to get out the door, I might use my Bioderma, um, and that just takes off any oil or just any uh, remaining makeup that might have stayed on your skin from the night before. So the second step in my skincare routine in the mornings is to do a bit of exfoliation. And what I like to use is this Clinique uh, clarifying lotion. They don't call it an exfoliator, but it is um, a chemical exfoliator. And again, this is a product that you dab onto your cotton wool and then just wipe it over your face. And obviously like, you know, any other exfoliator, you avoid your eye area. This is a really effective product. And obviously because you're not scrubbing away like a lot of um, exfoliators, it's really quick to use as well. So I use that on a daily basis. Now, every week or so, I might use um, this more mechanical scrub. This is Clinique's seven day scrub. And I do realize it's an everyday scrub, but there's just something about scrubs and you know rubbing away at your skin that I don't like. I don't like that gritty feeling of a lot of exfoliators. So this is something I use sparingly and it's only really when I need, you know, a deeper clean. So like I said earlier, sun care is something that is really important for my skincare. And my absolute favorite product that I've been using is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 plus SPF um, sunscreen. It is a facial fluid and this stuff is just super light. You put it on and it just melts into your skin and it doesn't leave it greasy. 
and it hasn't got that sort of thick sticky feeling of some other moisturizers now another sunscreen that i've used has been the neutrogena i think it's called the ultra touch or the dry touch something like that um, i did use that and i know that a lot of people love that product but for me personally i find it a little bit too thick and what i've been finding when i used it was that my makeup went um, went on funny afterwards uh, so for example it would leave where i have pores here they became really really visible and um, i just don't find that product works well on my skin at all but this one really does and i'll continue to purchase this one again so for moisturizer, I also stick with La Roche Posay products. Now they are a French pharmacy brand and they specifically cater to more sensitive type skins. Now I don't necessarily think I have sensitive skin, but my, uh, my skin definitely responds to these products really well. The moisturizer that I've been using, and this is the second tube of this that I've purchased, is the Rhodermic UV with vitamin C. And so I kind of think this is a bit of an all round product and it addresses a lot of my concerns. So firstly, it's got anti-aging properties um, in the vitamin C. It's also got ingredients that provide what they call fill in care. Um, so this is just for your fine lines and I do, I do see a noticeable difference in my skin. Um, and also it has SPF 25 in, uh, in the product as well. So I find this works really well on my skin. It definitely doesn't break me out. It works well when I get super oily in the summer um, and I'll repurchase this again. Okay, as for eye cream, I also uh, am trying a La Roche Posay product and it's the Rhodomic C for eyes. Now, unlike the facial moisturizer, I can't speak as highly about this product and there's nothing wrong with it, but for the price, it's nothing special either. Um, you know, it's a nice eye cream, it goes on well, it's not too thick or too thin or anything like that but it's no different to other eye creams that I've used. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this one, although I'll finish this up because it's a good eye cream. Okay, and finally, just some lip balm. So I actually picked up this little pot of lip balm when I was in Paris at the end of last year. And this is a Nukes brand lip balm. I'm not even going to try and say the French name that's on here, um, but I'll try and find a link for it and put it down below. But this lip balm is really fantastic because A, it has got the most wonderful scent. It's almost like a citrus scent, but it's not in your face. It's a really mellowed out scent. Um, the other thing I like about it, and I'm surprised, is the texture it's quite a waxy texture so when you initially put it on you think it's going to almost be too thick and gluggy on your lips but because it's got essential oils and um, whatever other ingredients in here you put it on and after about a minute or so um, it almost starts to melt into your lips but because of the waxy nature it really has staying power and so your lips really stay moisturized for a long time so you don't need a lot of this product and i'm you know i've been using this since the end of last year and you know this will last me for absolutely ages so that is my morning skincare routine i really hope that you enjoyed watching that um, I will say that my routine is a simple one uh, and that is just how I like to keep it. I'm a person who likes to go in the bathroom, get my routine done and be out the door doing other things that I need to be doing in my day. But I am pretty selective and choosy about the types of products that I use. I don't mind if they're drugstore um, or if they're higher end. Um, I don't want to certainly pay exorbitant prices, but I am after products that work for my skin. Um, so I'm always willing to try new things, but I really will uh, research them and just make sure it is something that uh, my skin needs. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.